Hey gamers, in this video, we'll be going over how to move your Sims 4 data elsewhere. But the catch? You've got OneDrive installed. Stay tuned. Also, stay tuned until the end because I have a very exciting announcement for you all that I think many of you will absolutely benefit from. And now that that is done, I'll go ahead and pass it over to Samantha. Take it away, girl. There are a few things you'll need. 1. You'll need administrator rights. In this video, we'll be playing with some pretty advanced and deep parts of your computer, so you'll need the ability to run programs as an administrator. 2. Unfortunately, you'll need to have either the Steam app or the EA app to be able to access your Sims 4 game as the Origin client is no longer functional. And 3. This video relies on another dreaded app, OneDrive. If you don't have OneDrive on your computer, but simply want to move your Sims 4 data regardless then continue to follow along. Alex, take it away. Thank you, Samantha. So just to demonstrate, this is the current Sims 4 game with all mods and saves loading successfully, as you can see here. Now, sadly, some of you are very familiar with this portion. This Sims 4 game is working within OneDrive's connected and synced documents location. A good bit of you may have been using OneDrive unsuspectingly for quite some time now and until now didn't worry about it until you wanted to get better performance or move your mods. Well, you're in luck. Firstly, we're going to need to get OneDrive to stop being a part of our lives. So let's do that. Click the up arrow in the bottom right hand corner to show any of the other apps that are running on your computer. Look for the OneDrive app icon. Usually it's a blue cloud icon. It could be gray. Go ahead and right click on the app and select the settings gear in the top right of the little app window that appears. From here, click settings from the drop down that appears. On the left hand side, you should see account. Go ahead and click on this section. Underneath your name and email address, there's a small link titled unlink this PC. Go ahead and click on that. On the little dialog box that comes up, go ahead and click to verify that you want to unlink the account. Now, if you click on the OneDrive app again, you'll see that it's signing you out of your account. This is great. Once it completes, you'll see it takes you back to the original app setup wizard asking you to input your email. Ignore this, we're going to completely uninstall this app. Unfortunately, removing OneDrive from syncing does not fix any of the file locations. We'll have to do that ourselves. As you can see here, we still have the documents folder inside OneDrive garbage. So just to make sure we don't have any more issues, we'll remove OneDrive. Open the start menu and type OneDrive. Here you'll see the option to uninstall the app. If you're running Windows 11, you'll be removing Microsoft OneDrive from the settings app. However, in Windows 10, you'll be removing it from the old control panel settings. Regardless of where it shows up, go ahead and uninstall the app. Just so you know, most times OneDrive does not show anything while it uninstalls, so you're kind of just in a guessing game wondering whether or not it's removed. If you're unsure, there are a couple things you can do. One, check the list where you're uninstalling the game from. Whether you're in the old control panel or the new settings app, look for the app you just had to double click to remove or look for OneDrive. If it's not on the list, this is a good sign. Two, a second way to check would be to look for it in the area of the taskbar by clicking the up arrow here. If it doesn't show up again, then you're in good shape. I appreciate you all watching my videos and being a part of the channel. However, I did want to point out that I would appreciate it if you showed the love and liked the videos you watched or even subscribed to the channel. See, I spend countless hours pushing my computer to its limits constantly to make these videos for you all. I've broken my Sims 4 game in so many ways that troubleshooting issues is almost second nature for me. I do this so you guys don't have to, but you don't get to see the behind the scenes error messages, the frustration, and sometimes the panic that happens because I just want to be there for all you simmers, but have to postpone videos because something broke. So with that said, I would absolutely appreciate it if you could help the channel out, show your love for these videos by liking them and subscribe only if you want to, of course. And rest assured, I will always put my heart and soul into making these videos for you all. You really do mean a lot to me and that's why I try to always respond to everyone's comments. Even if I don't know what you're going through, I definitely try to help. 
So again, thank you for being there for me and the channel overall, and thank you for the support you all show. And now, if you decided to do a reboot, that would be a great recommendation only because I had to while I was running through all of this. Next, we'll be going through restoring the location of your documents file folder. Open the start menu and begin typing registry editor. Before you fully type it, it'll probably show up anyway. Click on run as administrator, or if you don't see this option, right click the app and click run as administrator. In the description below, you'll see a section titled registry key for documents. Copy the weird path looking thing below that. Now in the registry editor, you're going to click into this address bar looking thing, move your cursor to the end of the word computer, add a backslash, the slash above the enter key, and paste the path looking thing from earlier by hitting control and B together. This is going to snap you directly to the folder we need to be in. It's going to look like a lot, but we're going to be searching for one thing only in this list on the right, a thing named personal. Now go ahead and double click on personal. Yours will most likely show something like C colon backslash users backslash your name backslash OneDrive backslash documents. This is bad for us. We don't want that. Regardless of what it says, select it all and replace it with this. Percent user profile percent backslash documents. However, as you can see here, by going into your electronic arts folder that was on OneDrive, you'll see that there wasn't any movement. Why is that? Well, the registry change is something that happens to be read only when the computer is booted up. So we'll need to do a restart here in a bit, but we've got to take care of a couple other issues first. Now there may be a couple other issues within this section of the registry. You'll probably notice your entry named desktop has OneDrive in it, as well as possibly your pictures key. Oof. Simply replace both of these with either percent user profile percent backslash desktop for the desktop entry or percent user profile percent backslash pictures for the pictures entry. And this will fix up your changes. Very important here, restart your computer after you've made these changes. I kind of shortcut that by restarting the UI shell of Windows, but this could get complicated and not work for everyone, so just do a restart. <laughs> See you here in five. Go grab a Snickers bar for a quick break. Haha. <laughs> okay, awesome. Glad to see you back. Now, you can head to your documents folder and you should see something a little different than what you saw earlier. Also, now that you've removed OneDrive, we have to manually navigate to that folder. If you open the documents folder, you should see that when you click into the address bar at the top, it gives you the full address to the game's directory. C colon backslash users backslash your name backslash documents. To get to your OneDrive directory, typically you'd remove documents from the end and start typing OneDrive here. This should automatically appear with the correct folder name here. Hit enter to go into this folder. Being that you were plagued with having had OneDrive on your machine and it's still safeguarding your documents folder, you need to go into it and specifically cut the electronic arts folder out of here. Whether you want to do something with the rest of your file folders is completely up to you. Now go ahead and paste the files into your real documents folder. And as you can see here, our mods, saves, and files are all recognized. Now guys, for the awesome announcement. As so many of my videos are a bit complex and the instructions can be a bit hard to follow, it's expected that some of you may have issues. And that's why I'm offering a subscription that I'm dubbing my Sims 4 Diagnostic Package. This package will offer exclusive help directly working with me to get tons of your issues fixed. In this package, you'll have unlimited access to fully installing the base game through Steam or the EA app, moving the game to an external hard drive, moving game files to external drives, finding out why the game isn't working correctly, making the game run smoother, assistance with downloading and installing mods, and finally, fixing the game after you've made some changes and the game broke. And what's better about this isn't that you're using the free service from EA where support is limited. No. If you're having issues because you modded your game, you've got my support. If you're having issues because you have an overly complicated network set up on your game and EA won't support you, you've got my support. If you're using a cracked version of the game, I mean, I'll do the best I can given what I've got, but you've got my support. 
And that's not all, Simmers. With my Sims 4 diagnostic package, you won't just receive generic troubleshooting advice or wait on hold for hours. No, you'll get the personalized attention and expertise you deserve. We'll connect through remote sessions where I'll personally handle all of your Sims 4 issues. And here's something special to note. Proceeds from this subscription will directly benefit the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you for being a part of my community, subscribing to the channel, and engaging with my content through views, likes, and comments. So go check out the link in the description and sign up today. I can't wait to help you on the other side. That's really cool that you're offering a service to personally handle all of your viewers' issues. I don't know many YouTube gamers that are putting this level of commitment into their audience. And aside from this, there you have it gamers, the full tutorial presented by our wonderful but erroneous Alex. It's definitely a long and pretty convoluted journey to get your Sims 4 game going when you have probably had OneDrive on your PC since you bought your computer and didn't need to remove it until now. But now you can breathe easier after finishing this video. And remember, with the excellent monthly subscription, if you don't want to handle this on your own, you don't have to. You now have help, so don't hesitate to reach out with any questions if you have any issues. Until, until next, next time. time. Hey guys, check out this video that YouTube thinks is best for you, or check out my most recent video below it. Thanks for watching!